Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Susan. If you like my videos, then please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for any future reviews. So today I went and saw Mary Poppins Returns starring Emily Blunt and Lynn manuel Miranda with a special guest appearance with Mr. Mary Poppins himself, Dick Van Dyke. It's too bad Julie Andrews didn't have like a little bit of a cameo in there. I, that would have been like the icing on the cupcake for me but I kind of understand. Anyway, um, Emily Blunt. So let's talk about her. All right. So Emily Blunt was pretty much perfect to play Mary Poppins. She has the perfect amount of beauty with arrogance mixed with narcissism, just enough of sweetness to like make it not mean, you know, um, I can't imagine any other actress playing this role. She did an amazing job. She knew that she was stepping into iconic shoes, let's be honest. And that's incredibly intimidating as an actress, especially when you have to sing and she's not known as being a singer, but she can sing. Like she's really, really amazing, really, really good. Uh, she was just really incredible. So kudos to Emily Blunt. Very good job. Now I understand all the nominations that she's been getting for Golden Globe and um, SAG and Critics' Choice. Very well deserved. Very, very well deserved. Lynn manuel Miranda, um, I understand why he was cast because he's Mr. Hamilton. You know, he's, he's Broadway and this is his thing. I don't know if I like the plot line of him being pretty much like another Burt character. Um, that is the character that Dick Van Dyke played in the original um, I wish he could have been someone different, maybe. I don't know. I understand kind of where they were going with, like, you know, the memory of the original movie, paying homage to that and everything. I kind of get it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that worked for me. Emily Blunt definitely worked for me, but I don't know about Lynn manuel Miranda, his character. Um, but the basic plot line of the movie is the Banks children that Mary Poppins looked after in the original movie. They are all grown up now. Michael Banks has three children of his own. His wife recently passed away in the past year and he's in danger of losing his home. And so things are kind of chaotic and life is kind of falling apart and in swoops in Mary Poppins to save the day. And she comes into the children's lives and turns it upside down in her own special way. And um, the other Banks child, Jane, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't, she didn't really have a plot line for herself. You know, like, she is the sister of Michael and... It's all about Michael and the kids. And she was like there all the time. And it was kind of weird feeling because it felt like she was the wife, but she's not the wife. She's obviously the sister, you know, so it just felt kind of weird at times for me. Maybe does, does anyone else feel this way? You know, subscribers, anyone else out there? Did you feel this way as well? I don't know. It, it was just kind of awkward. I felt like they could have done more with her character, like given her kind of her own plot line, like shown where she lived. I mean, I don't know. It was just kind of weird for me. But getting into the storyline, uh, it had animated sequences. That was really good uh, where they were wearing the clothing that looked like it was drawn on them and everything. That was really, really neat. Um, the sequence when they go into the bathtub and they're, you know, in the water and in the ocean and everything. That was really cool as well. Um, it was a lot of um, sequences like that that made you feel reminiscent of the previous film where it's creative and everything. Um, but I did have some, some little bit complaints. I mean, overall, it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It's a good, solid movie. The choreography in this movie is amazing. Rob Marshall, if anyone doesn't know, Rob Marshall also did Chicago with uh, Renee Zellweger, Catherine Zeta-Jones. And so the choreography he did with someone else is amazing in this movie. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's a good, solid movie. Don't get me wrong. It's perfect for kids. It was out at holiday time. That was the perfect time for it to come out at Christmas. You're believing in magic. You're believing in Mary Poppins again. Wonderful for, for children. 
who don't know any better, you know, um, the original Mary Poppins is just so iconic. And for me, kind of one of the disappointing parts of this movie was there was no homage to any of the original songs that were in the movie. Now, I don't know if this was like maybe a conflict or they just chose not to do that. But I, if they could have done that, I wish they would have done that because I would have loved to have seen Emily Blunt saying, you know, spoonful of sugar, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, or, you know, let's go fly a kite, something. They're just, the songs that they did were not, they're not going to be memorable. They're, you're not going to take it with you. You're not going to be singing it, you know, two hours after you get out of the movie because it was just so much thrown at you. So, so many things going on. It was very quick, very fast. And it's just not going to stay with you. So that was one of my complaints about this movie that I was thinking about. The other one I'm conflicted about because it involves Meryl Streep. Now, Meryl Streep is a god, you know, when it comes to acting and everything. Um, I loved that they had her play a character that was so eccentric and weird and funky and out of this world. Like, you've never seen her play a character like that. So that was wonderful. My complaint was that the character came, like, out of nowhere. You know, it was like, oh, this is Mary Poppins' cousin. You know, it was just kind of random and stuck in there and everything. I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird to me and a little off. Again, what do you guys think? Did you like Meryl Streep just kind of, like, stuck in there as Mary Poppins' cousin? Or do you have complaints about it? Let me know. Let me know your feelings about stuff. Um, but overall, it was... A good, solid movie. It's definitely for children. And, um, of course, at the end, Dick Van Dyke, with his surprise cameo at the very end, he's, what, 93, 95, 97, something like that. The dude is dancing on a table, okay? Like, that's on a desk. Like, that's incredible that he went and did that, is still capable of doing that. I mean, it just kind of it makes you go back in time a little bit about your your first watching of Mary Poppins. So that was an iconic thing. And I'm really glad that they got him to be in there. But overall, good solid movie. Those are my two uh, little issues with the movie. But uh, everything else, I mean, it was it was a good movie. Um, I would give it about a, a B minus. I'm going to give it a B minus. You know, uh, Emily Blunt kind of saves it a little bit more. So uh, that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.